Hi everyone, Vincenzo here. Today I want to talk about a topic that comes up often in my DMs, suspended cords. So what are suspended cords and do you need to know them? Well, suspended cords are very interesting cords that can make your chord progressions sound more beautiful very easily. So you definitely need to know them. But of course, let's dive deeper into it because the goal of today is to teach you a little bit of the music theory behind these chords so that you can really understand why they're so cool. First of all, you need to know a bit about chords. So a chord is two or more notes played together. For example, a major chord has three notes, the root, the major third, and the perfect fifth. So if you look at the C major scale, these are the notes that you will have for a C major chord, C, E, and G. The E, so the note that you have in the middle, is the one that tells you if the chord is major or minor. In fact, if instead of E you would have had E flat, then the chord would have been a C minor. Anyway, if you want to know more about major and minor chords, check out this tutorial. It's one of my first YouTube videos. I recorded it in 2020 and yeah, even if you know about chords, I really think you should check it out, trust me. Anyway, going back to suspended chords, you might have noticed that they are always followed by numbers. So you have sus2 or sus4. The 2 is referring to the second note of the scale. And as you can imagine, the 4 is referring to the fourth one. Now, do you think you're going to add these notes to make these beautiful suspended chords? Well, the answer is no. In fact, suspended chords are still chords made up of only three notes. And this is where things get interesting. In order to have a suspended chord, you need to get rid of the third. By the way, not the third note of the chord, but the third meaning the major third or the minor third. So remember, C major was C, E, G. Now, instead of the E, you need to have the second if you want a sus2 chord. And so you get C, D, and G. Or you will need the fourth instead of the third, so C, F, and G, to have a sus4 chord. So, are these chords major or minor? Suspended chords are neither major nor minor, and this is what makes them special. These chords are great to make chord progressions more interesting, especially chord progressions that tend to be a bit boring. And in my opinion, this is the main reason why you need to know them. Also, let me tell you that sometimes these chords are easier to play than their major or minor versions. For example, this has two is easier than this. So you really want to make sure you don't miss out on these cool chords. To give you a practical example, let's take this simple chord progression and let's change it to this. Now I will play that first with the usual chords and then using the suspended chords. So 3, 4, C, G. second chord progression was much more interesting. Like I said, you can use suspended chords instead of regular major or minor ones. Now, that often works, but not every single time. This might be because of the melody or because of something else that is happening in the song. So trust your ears to see whether it works or not. And if you're still unsure, you can reach out to me. Now, let me tell you the suspended chords are used in any style of music and they are very popular in rock music. That's because you can easily get them by playing open strings on the guitar, a little bit like on the ukulele. So for instance, this is G, but then I lift up my middle finger and I get G sus2. By the way, if you want to have a look at some of the most common suspended chords for the ukulele, check out the description where you'll find a PDF for them. The aim of this video was to teach you what suspended chords are and why you need to know them. If you like this video, and especially if you learn something from it, consider supporting the channel. You can buy me a coffee or you can join my Patreon. Links are in the description. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments if everything was clear. By the way, if you want to work on some songs that use suspended chords, 
check out my tutorial for the one I love by REM or the one for I still haven't found what I'm looking for by YouTube. You can find the links in the description. Having said that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it's important. And of course, if you need any help, simply get in touch. Ciao!